Hello Stormwater Designers, welcome back to this EPA Swim tutorial series. We covered in the first seven videos all the basic tutorials that come included with EPA Swim and that was a great exercise. The last video in that series covered continuous simulation and EPA Swim does have continuous simulation capabilities, but not to the degree that uh, it is required. What we have here is WimSwim, which has the HSPF, which is a world-renowned uh, algorithm for computing uh, continuous simulation is really what we want to use when we're doing our hydrologic analysis. This is WimSwim, which is able to combine HSPF and SWIM uh, into one software package here. You can learn more about that in the description down below. What I want to show you is how easy it is to do a continuous simulation and SWIM analysis in this integrated tool here. So what I'm going to do is select my project location by uh, clicking a point on the map, and that brings up my uh, rain gauge data that I'm going to need. What I'm going to do is build out a project, and what we do is we start with a pre-developed land use area that represents what the land use was like before our project development. And what you can do also is set up um, just one scenario, just like EPA Swim with uh, culverts, pipes, and junctions. And I'll show you how to do that. But essentially here, I'm setting up a land use basin. It's going to have three acres of sea till soil that is forest flat. And I'm going to run this scenario here. And that generates runoff in this pre-developed scenario. Then I'm going to go to the mitigated, what my project looks like in uh, post-development, set up some swim elements to show you that it can be integrated, and even model a detention pond in that. So right here, we can drop in our basin again. Let's say all that uh, till forest was now changed into impervious road surfaces. And what we can do here is we can add outfall element, just like we had an EPA swim, and this junction element here. And we can link these together just like EPA swim, except now they're going to go to a detention pond. So here's the detention pond. And we can now model this using continuous simulation uh, instead of just using, uh, you know, the, the continuous simulation that was included or single event methodologies, which is what a lot of people use. So what we want to do first is model this detention pond. And then we'll add the swim uh, pipe elements back in. So what I'm going to do is connect this to our point of compliance, which is just our point of analysis. And we have a feature in WimSwim that automatically sizes your pond to fit your stormwater needs. And so I'm going to uh, run this mitigated scenario here, or post-development scenario. And then we're going to run something called Auto Pond, which will size our pond for us. Or you could input your own facility dimensions here. And uh, I think I'll actually leave it with the, these facility dimensions. And you'll be able to look at all the different results that you need in WimSwim. But let me delete this link here. And now I'll add that junction and that outfall, just like we had an EPA swim. I'll connect them. You can modify the same capabilities here. We'll go with an invert elevation of 35, a max depth of 5. And I'll go with the invert elevation of 34 here. And so now we have a swim network with HSPF elements. We can run this scenario. And uh, first we're going to se select the events we want to do, just like EPA swim. Let me pull up this event here. This is a 15 hour event. We'll add it, select it, and then we'll run the scenario. We're going to get the same swim results as we would have done in EPA swim, but now we have continuous simulation working with us. Uh, to conduct both the hydrologic and hydraulic analysis here. You can even use these uh, flyover features here, which I'll show you to graph and uh, view how how full these pipes are and and uh, you know the different flow values that are occurring in the system. Once this finishes running here. We can graph it, we can see the depth versus time here, and even look at uh, how full the pipe is over these different um, areas here. So this is a really uh, useful tool, WimSwim. You can check that out in the description down below. It's sort of the culmination of the power of EPA Swim plus the power of useful uh, continuous simulation. And it's sort of the next step in modeling to really be able to integrate all your modeling purposes into one software as opposed to um, using different programs, which you probably do now, or maybe even hand calcs with 
uh, single event analysis, USCS, you know, runoff analysis, unit hydrographs. Um, you really shouldn't have to do that anymore. And so you can check out the video also, the number one stormwater problem, which covers why we don't want to be used different, different softwares and different methodologies uh, for completing our projects. So thank you for checking out this EPA Swim series. We hope to continue doing videos on how to use the software, but that was covering the basic tutorials and continuous simulation. And we'll see you guys next time.